Okay, we've just left, just left Alice Springs and we're at the highest point marker. So it's, let's wait for this car to come past. 727.2 meters above sea level. There you go, the highest point. Oh, highest point where? It's, I don't know, on it's this a, road. Wycliffe Well. <laughs> it's a bit weird, it's actually a space themed place. Um, yeah, it's as you can see, look, there's spacey stuff around. It's a strange one. Wycliffe Well, it's not far from Devil's Marbles, not that far. But you get all this, um, oh, there's Elvis. Thank you very much. There's the little green man. It's just an interesting little place. Hello, Elvis. Hey, hello, you are you. Oh, a little green man. And the caravan park, and there's a Hulk over there. Johnny's a bit mystified by all this, I think. Yeah. Very quiet here. Look at these places over here. Oh, there's the toilets. Not sure what that guy is. Oh, I told you about the well. I would expect Wycliffe Well. Oh, some little spacemen up there too. Right, there's a spaceship. There's another little green man. And a little 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 green one. Very weird. Very weird. Okay, let's go and have a look. How about that? How about that, Johnny? Ooh. How much is it? 72.9. Mmm. Okay, on to Devil's Marbles. Where we're camping the night. Okay, it's <laughs> Right, we're at um, Devil's Marbles. Um, which is, um, oh, probably about 100, 150k, something like that, um, south of Tennant Creek. And um, it's blowing like crazy. I'll see if I can turn the camera. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, see, if I go out here, it's actually blowing its ass off out here, but <laughs> it's really windy, really windy. So, um, anyway, we're going to go for a walk and have a look at the Devil's Marbles. There they are. Devil's Marbles, um, and they're all around here. There's some there, there's some over there. You're not allowed to photograph these ones, but that's all right, I'm using a PV camera, so it's not, not photographing. Um, but yeah, these are Devil's Marbles, so we're gonna go for a walk and have a look. But this is our campground, it's, uh, a, how much is it? $4 per person per night. And um, yeah, you can come and camp here with your van or your, your tent or your, whatever you've got and you've got all this area here when we got here yesterday it was packed and we actually got the last spot which is there uh, which was good so we actually managed to get the last spot and uh, there we came as you can hear the wind howling and uh, there's amenities here there's a toilet over there there's one over yonder right over there you can't see it and there's a couple down that way too so yeah so but it's um we're here for two nights and then we're going to keep on going tomorrow we we're here last night so we're going to head off tomorrow to Tennant Creek and keep going put it there all right we've got to lock the van and we're going, going for a walk there you go van locked these little birds they just sit sit here Not sure what they are. Anyway, we'll check the funk and waggle, waggle, and see if we can find out. Devil's marbles. It's devil's marbles. Lots of stories about devil's marbles. Lots of stories. Um, three time stories. 
Um, Alison knows them, but um, look them up on the web. And, um, yeah, there's <clears throat> a lot of very interesting stuff going on with these. Very interesting. And they're balancing. Got lost? Strange. Oh, we've just come down from up there, up that way, and we're following a sort of path. It's not the real path, but we're following a sort of path. Heading down this way. Technically allowed to photograph behind us. But I can photograph Alison. And there you go. Don't get any background. No, ignore the background because you're not allowed to photograph it. There you go. Highways over there, I can see it. Over there, I can see cars going on the highway. So we're heading back, heading back to the campground now. See, there's little arrows that tell you where to go. Look. That's a day use area over there that you can see where those cars and that are. I'll go for a walk. Yeah, so you can get um, free Wi-Fi here. <laughs> Can't get it anywhere else. You can get it here though, because they've got satellite Wi-Fi. Um, we've just come from over there. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Free Wi-Fi. How good's that? I might just keep walking over here. Johnny's happy because he's now got Wi-Fi, so he might spend the spend the rest of the day here. I thought Johnny was going to wait up by the hot Wi-Fi, but he decided no, he's going to come now. So we're just going for a it's a 20 minute walk around this patch of devil's marbles. So we'll go for a wander. The highway's over there. You can see the telegraph poles up there. I think they run alongside the highway. Either that or they run alongside the railway, which is the Garn, the Garn Railway. Um, heading up to Darwin. So here we are. What's this lot called? How a huge boulder cracks in two. When you get a chisel, don't you? you just drive it down the guts. Oh, look at that. Like an egg that's been, that's been um, cracked. Here we go. That was interesting. Some of these are really round, like oval shell, egg shaped. Egg-shaped boulders. Definitely got to come here if you're here. If you're out in this area, definitely come to Devil's Marbles. Really, really interesting to have a look at. Steeped in history. Found a cave. Ooh, cave. Not sure I'd feel safe in there though. I suppose it's okay. I suppose there are, you know, sort of paintings in here. It goes through. Look at that. Oh. See how that one up there, it's got a flat surface, obviously snapped off, broken off something. But see the big crack on this one? Look at that big crack right in the middle of it. Maybe that one's going to fall apart one day. Big crack. Okay, so it's still looking out the other direction. They're everywhere, they're all over the place. That's down there is the campground. We're just up around the corner there a little bit, if you can hear me. Uh, that's where we are. Yeah, you can just see our van in the distance here. We're just sort of heading back there, heading back that way. This is our campsite. 
on a bit of a tilt, on a bit of a slope there when we came, but just backed the car up, all was good. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but <laughs> we just left Devil's Marbles and it's blowing a bloody gale. We just pulled into a rest stop here. Um, it's only about oh, 10k, something like that. What'd you say? What'd say? Oh yeah, long water trail. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's not really reflective of how windy it is because it's actually probably facing the wrong direction. The wind's coming from that way. So it's facing the opposite way, so I don't know why it Okay, Bonnie Well. So this must be the well. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, good day. Okay. I hope you can hear me. The wind's still blowing. We've just come through Tennant Creek. Uh, filled up with fuel. Got a coffee. Got some chips. Chips are pretty old, pretty stale, but anyway, we got some. Um, and we've stopped at the old Telegraph Station, which is about six or seven k north of Tennant Creek. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a look at that, um, and um, yeah, then onward to the three ways. So I'll lock the car. Hang on. There you go. Car locked. All right. So yep. So um, yeah, we filled up with fuel. Um, hundred and hundred and thirty dollars worth of fuel, I think. Um, Tennant Creek. <laughs> just, it's interesting town. Worth a stop, but just a little note: the IGA there. Um, was burnt down or got burnt down um, as I found out and um, how did it get burnt down? Uh, someone set fire to some bins at the back of it I'll leave it up to you to guess how that happened but anyway there you go so they've opened up a temporary IGA at the BP servo um, which um, which we stopped at we didn't go to the IGA though oh, we've got to check in here but we've done that that's an old phone. Yeah. Old phone. It is an old phone, isn't it, really? Telegraph, yeah. Old phone, yeah. There's one of the old telegraph poles there. Stretches all the way from here to Darwin, I reckon. Another one over there. But, uh, I reckon this is where the cold store, where they stored food. I reckon this little, this little room. The old roof rattling around. Yeah, it was it. Well, no, there's not. Well, I reckon that's what it was. That area over there where we just were was that. Yeah, as I thought. Food storage. There you go. Store your meat and everything. All right, we're going and have a look at the living quarters. This has got a fly screen around it. Oh, that's better. Out of the, out of the wind a bit. Time for tails. An evening with Tom. That's locked. So maybe they got it locked up this time. I can't get in there. I'll lock there. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Last time we came here three years ago, you could actually go into into these buildings. But now you have to get a key. You have to get a key from the information centre, which is obviously we're not going to do that because it's way back. So, yeah, so that's just a tip. So, if you come here, yeah, you got to get a key, come out, and then take a key back. So, you can't really, it's hard to do it if you're sort of passing through like we are. Yeah, everything's locked. Anyway. 
When you know, you know. That's the telegraph office. The nerve centre. That one there. I'll go and have a look over here. The same issue, I think. We've got, a, we've got no key. Yeah, so all in all, it's actually um, worth a visit. Gives you a sense of how things were. That looks like an old wagon wheel, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it gives you a sense of how things were back in back in the late 1800s. But yeah, interesting to have a look at.